we head outdoors for the second event of Marvel Sports Games Season 5, and I say, welcome to the jungle. Hello everybody, I'm the Emperor. Jungle Jump here will await our 16 competitors in the A-League, hosted by the Bronze Tigers here. A little bit of a different formatting, so this is how the system will work. If you clear the bar, or if you tip the bar, you're fine. But if you tip it and you fail, or you just fail completely, you will be eliminated. And the order of tiebreak there is as it goes down. So see the blue moons up first, they will clear. Venomous Viper's up now. Also clear. So the first round's pretty easy. It's Orbit, the captain of the purple rockets, ascends and also clears it. Cyanai, who won the long jump last year at the Ring of Fire. So as you can see, four clear so far of four attempts. It'll get progressively harder as we move along. The Dodgers moving on. The What? Where did they go? <laughs> Whoa! Speedy is... Oh, wow! Just look at that! Flew straight off the course. There wasn't anything there. Speedy just took a nosedive off. And the Dodgers aren't going to finish. Flamethrowers now. And Smelt clearing it. Stingers also clear. Here comes Yellow Green of the Rainbows. I believe... Rainbows might have done good last year in the long jump. Don't quote me on that, though. Marvel's Mint's clear for Mint. Here comes Jam from the Royal Raspberries. You'll notice a slightly different uniform than the other Royal Raspberries members. This is Jam's debut event, I do believe. Fiery from Balls of Fire comes down. They're going to clear it pretty handily. Followed by Caster of the Thunder Gods. Here comes Starry from the Galactic Empire. Ooh, so you notice the bump there. Starry tipped it, but did get across. So therefore, we'll move on. Followed by Greeny. And Vanilla, and here come our host, Tigger of the Bronze Tigers. And they will clear. So the only one who did not, well, pass the bar is the Dodgers, who didn't even make it to the bar. So the Dodgers will come in 16th. Round 2 now, but a little bit more difficult. Bar pushed back a little, but Rover will clear it handily. Cobra. Ooh, that's a tip from Cobra, but that's still fine. They clear. Orbit as well is clear. Cyanide coming down, our defending long jump winner bounces off the top. Snelt may have cleared that one, but tipped it. Some sting from the stingers, that's a tip. Yellow green, I believe. Ooh, right, so that's a no good run from the rainbows. They bounce it, did not get across. And the rainbows representative, yellow green, will not be moving on. Jam now coming down. Ooh, a nice tip. We'll survive for another round. Fiery coming down. Clear for the reserve member of Balls of Fire. Some of these rivals getting similar distances as the first one. Starry tips it again. Maybe Starry's not co cut out for this event. Although Greeny comes across pretty handily. As does Vanilla. Final run. 15 here in round 2. Tigger has come across. The only one did not pass will be yellow green of the rainbow so through two rounds we still have 14 marbles left and that will lead us to round three remember it does get progressively harder i think we will start to see a spike in eliminations soon rover comes across clear here comes the venomous vipers with a tip across captain of the purple rockets is also good some cyanide looking to defend their gold medal i think i said that a couple times <laughs> but they will be clear through this one so far comes the flamethrower's representative smelt. A little tip to get across. And sting. Sting, well that's gonna sting. They're not gonna move on. The stingers will be eliminated this round. Good run there from Vanilla. Jam just barely gets across that one on the tip. And falls of fire, shifting the bar a little bit. Thunder Gods also tipping it across. Starry now. Sorry, no good. Tips the bar and will not advance. Galactic goes down this round with the stingers. Greenies, no good. Well, it is good, actually. My bad. They tipped it. So are the Valiant Vanillas and the Bronze Tigers. A good tip from Tigger and a good crowd, good cheer coming for the Bronze Tigers representative. We're through three. We've got 12 runners left. So we head to the fourth round. Rover from the Blue Moons. Perfect so far. We'll tip it. Still moving on. Venomous Ivers. Oh, they didn't even touch that. Cobra goes right under it. So now, if you tip the bar and don't move on, you'll still get priority over Cobra, who did not even touch it. There goes Orbit. 
tipped it but did not move on. Cyanite grazes under it and our defending winner of the event is out. As are the flamethrowers also tipping it. Marvelous Mints will get across. Let's see what Jam can do now. Oh, not even close. Jam will fail. As will Fiery with a tip. Balls of Fire are eliminated. A lot more eliminations this round, it looks like. Thunder God's caster is a cross. Greenie from the Greenies, also a cross. Two runs to go this round. Valiant Vanillas, they're good. What can Tigger do? Can they join the field that have moved on? No! The Bronze Tigers runner is out! After four rounds, they will take six, though. We got seven eliminations that round. All the way down to the Royal Raspberry in 12. That means we had to the round number five here. Five runners to go. Rover from the Blue Moon's no good. Rover fails that one. Two head. Here comes Mint. First tip last round. They're gonna... Ooh, I don't know if they tipped that or not, but they will not move on. Timing is going. You're saying Mint did tip that one, which will put them above Rover, who failed this round. Caster, no good. They're gonna fail as well. Which means Mint's guaranteed a medal here. With two runners to go, Greenie comes down. There's a tip and no good. The Greenies also. But since they did not, since they tipped twice now before, they're going to be below Mint and the Valiant Vanillas fail as well. Look at this. Everybody's faltering here in the fifth round. The Marvelous Mints will take home the gold medal. Oh my goodness. Crazy result here. Marvelous Mints, Mint takes it. Greeny second, Robo from the Blue Moon pick up the Blue Moon's second medal in two events. That's gotta feel good. But it's the first gold ever in the Marvel Sports game for the Marvelous Mints. Only their second event. Well, the 14th total event since they did 12 in season one. But that's gotta feel good. In the overall standings, you can see Blue Moon's up there. 35 points. That's gotta feel really good. Two medals, a silver and a bronze. Marvelous Mint still up there. Feline, a few others. Galactic Empire down there with four points, though. It's a bit of a shock. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you at the B League.